All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the gospel is truth. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS Great Millstone. Tell us this truth for the gospel of the kingdom. All right, now I'm a, I'm gonna play. Uh, how long is this? 35 minute video. Uh, I won't play the whole thing, but this is from a uh, brother. Um, as you can see, matter of fact, I'll show you. I will leave a link to this whole video in the description box. It was just a beautiful lesson, so I just wanted to upload the brother's uh, video to my channel. And the only way I can do that is to record the screen. Um, so yeah, go subscribe to that brother. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Like I said, I don't own this content. I'm just sharing the brother's video because it's a beautiful lesson. Okay. Um, but basically, it's about you know how this society, you know, with um, as you can see the the. Um, the title, Mental Health Issues, man, alright, and this is a beautiful lesson, alright, um, but yeah, I also want to say, if you hear me moving around in the background, I'm working on some lessons, since this lesson's a, a long one, you might hear me writing stuff down, because I'm, a, I actually got my new, um, $30 Bible, which I'll do a video reviewing that later, uh, I gotta go through that, and, uh, mark some stuff, and whatnot, so I want to say, Salakia, if you hear me, in the background, uh, doing anything, so, um, you know, yeah, um, but anyway, with that being said, I'll leave this, I'll turn this video on, and remember, make sure you check out the original video, uh, there will be a link down in the description box, alright, but anyway, with that being said, I'll play the video. Liberation, this is the fourth revised version, um, Slokia, this is from... Uh, www.rc.org uh, slash publication slash I guess if you type in mental health, you'll see www.rc.org. I'll try and get that link. I'll try and get that link uh, posted up in the description box when this is completed. Uh, it says, this is the fourth revised version of the mental health liberation policy. Our first three policies were primarily for mental health system survivors. Since they were written, it has become clearer that this liberation issue directly affects everyone, so the policy concerns everyone. It says, the third version of the policy, the pamphlet, What's wrong with the mental health system and what can be done about it contains the main points of current policy in more detail. This version summarizes those points and adds new thinking. We use the term mental health oppression, not mental health system oppression, which that's exactly what it is. The system that we have in place. Um, for mental health is broken, right? Because it's not to cure people, it's just basically to treat people, in my opinion, okay? We use, I'll go back, we use the word, we use the term mental health oppression, not the mental health system oppression, because the oppression is neither caused by the mental health system nor confined to it which is true, right? You have people at the top that are giving out orders and the mental health system is just a part of that conglomerate. That's just a part of the system, right? The mental health system doesn't have power to change anything. They're funded, they're funded by, by the government and the government gets their money from who? From the banks, from people who have an agenda. Right, and the agenda is to what? Is to have people who are who they know as sheeple, who are goyim, 
the, the, the so-called Jews of this society call you people goyim, right, which is basically cattle. And what can you do with cattle? You can do whatever you want with your livestock. It's your livestock. It's your property. So you people are property of who? Of the banking system. Of the of the um, of the the the, the um, of the the uh, cattle of, of the farm. The system that we live in is basically just a farm, and you people are just the cattle. And the owners of the farm do whatever they want to do with you. If you don't make your own decisions, they make the decisions for you. Right? Says, um, because the oppression is neither caused by the mental health system nor confined to it, quotes are used to denote terms that are based in the oppression and not in reality and that's where most people in this society live they lived in a in a fragmented reality the reality that they live in is not an actual reality that's why when brothers are on the highways and byways and people come and they're, they're, they're telling you about their fragmented reality, their reality that doesn't exist. You're not really supposed to argue with them. You give them the truth and you move on because these people are in a, in a bugged out state of mind. They're really destroyed mentally. Mentally, they're destroyed. That's why the Most High had to save us. The brothers, we were a part of that as well. We were definitely a part of that as well. Right? When you read the scriptures, it will tell you that, um, that we were just like unto the Gentiles. But we were saved out of that. We suffered from mental health issues. And we still, and some of us still do. Right? We go through, we go through, we, have, we suffer night terrors. Which are so-called, which are um, so-called nightmares. Right? Brothers suffer from abandonment issues, not having fathers in the home, bad diets, lack of health care. Right? Um, to mental health oppression. Mental health oppression is the systematic suppression of discharge and one, one second it says mental health oppression is the systematic suppression of discharge and the invalidation of people's minds right so you people are thinking that you're healthy when you're really not this system has corrupted you the system is telling you that the way that you think is right when the way that you're thinking is wrong. And they know that what they're telling you is wrong. But they want that. They want the confusion. It is the attempt to control people by enforcing standards of conduct. I'll read that again. It is the attempt to control people by enforcing standards of conduct. Right? Invalidating the discharge, re-evaluation process, categorizing people into diagnosis, pressuring them to take drugs and other harmful treatments. Highlight the word treatment, right? So the way that you're thinking is, is, is completely wrong. And punishing attempts to stand up for their liberation which is what the brothers are doing today. It always comes back to the truth, right? And the reason why it always comes back to the truth is because the truth shall set you free, right? This truth shall set you free. Set you free from what? From your mentalness. This truth will bring you to reality. Ask any brothers on the highway and the byways. Ask any brother. 
when they came to this truth, the first thing, the first demon that they had to come face with is the demon within themselves. The demon within themselves is the first demon that they had to come face to face with. And yes, this world tries to bring us back. But the first demon that we had to come face to face with is the demon that was within us. This is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression makes maketh a wise man mad. Right? And when we're on the highways and byways, we might seem crazy. We might seem like the worst people on planet earth for saying what we're saying against this society but the scripture says surely oppression maketh a wise man mad so if you people are not angry about your current situation in this society to where you think that you're free but you're really being oppressed and you're not mad about it then something is wrong with you. There's definitely some 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 form of mental illness there, right? And there, for you to think that this society is fine, then you're completely bugged out of your mind. And you don't even understand. Right? And um, let me get another scripture. Because I was telling you that we have to come face to face with the demon that's inside of us. This is Matthew 12 verse 43. It says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. And this is what happens when brothers come into this truth, come into this light, the demon that's on us leaves. The Most High does a spiritual cleansing and the demon is gone out, right? And what does it say? He says, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. That's the demon. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. So that demon tries to jump back on you. Your old ways, your old way of thinking. Right? That's what that demon wants. That demon wants you to continue to go down the path that you were going to. What's that path known as? That's the path of destruction. The path of unrighteousness. The path of wickedness, the path of sins, right? And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished, right? Because now you are what? You are trying to live righteous. You are learning about the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You are learning about what's good unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, what is pleasing, right? That's why it says, he findeth it swept and garnished. There's no place for him. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Right? Because... That spirit found out that you were working on a higher plane. He had to go and get seven more spirits. And that that applies to men that have fallen out of the truth. And that applies to the men that are in the truth and the torments that you're going through. This is a spiritual warfare, man. This is a spiritual warfare, and all you got to do is, is, is read Ephesians 6. This is definitely a spiritual warfare. It's not no joke, and it's not nothing to be taken lightly. 
This is this is the hardest fight of our lives, man. Because it's a spiritual warfare. And it's not it's 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 not a joke. Right? Just like it says in Ephesians six and twelve, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places, right? Because the, the the entities which we're trying to bring down do witchcraft and they do wickedness on the left hand side. And it's not a joke, it's not a game. It's it's dead deadly deadly serious. Deadly 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 serious. Right, going back to the uh, the article, which the article is something that brothers are gonna have to go through themselves because this article is good, man. But I can't get everything in this in this uh, in this lesson. Right, it's gonna it's gonna take too much time. I'm just trying to get a few points. Um. It says, pressuring them to take drugs and other harmful treatments, which we have an epidemic today. There's an epidemic today of people dying uh, um, from prescription drugs, man. And all you got to do is listen to the music. All you got to do is listen to the music that we're listening to now. Man, one of the biggest songs right now, I've been popping pills, man, I feel just like a rock star. Right? Popping pills, man. Right? These people all rapping about drugs. There's another song that eludes me, the guy with um, with a bunch of different colors in his hair. Little pump. Right? Rapping about drugs. I do cocaine. Some shit and punishing the attempts to stand up for their liberation. The point of men, which is big, which is big, right? The point of mental health oppression seems to be to oppress mental patients. However, it is actually to maintain the status quo by reinforce, reinforcing and obscuring the, the functioning of the other oppressions. Right? So that's what they do. They just want to maintain the status quo. So if Esau is pushing mental mental health issues, that's what's going to it's going to be. Right? That's why you have so many people now who are mental because Esau actually wants that 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 um that status quo. He wants to maintain that. Why? Because it's big business, man. Super big business. Mental health is big business. Right? And enforcing conformity. Right? And we're going to read more about that. Mental health oppression affects everyone in our society. It affects us whether or not we have had direct involvement with the mental health system. Right? Because we know people who it affects. Mental health oppression obscures and denies how much oppression hurts all humans and instead blames individuals rather than the oppressive societies for people's struggles. Right? But I don't care about everybody. I care about my people, the Hebrew Israelites. Right? Were you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who this who this system is aimed at oppressing. I don't care about a, a dirty ass Edomite, a dirty ass goop. No, I care about my people. Right? It says mental health oppression works with the other oppressions to keep people inside their oppressed and oppressor roles. Right? So this 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 top this this um this lesson is not about a particular gender, right? I know I do a lot of shows addressing the black woman, but this is not about a particular gender. See, it says keeping people inside their oppressor roles. So just because you're oppressed doesn't mean that you cannot be an oppressor, right? Like the black woman. The black, the black woman is oppressed 
But because of the power she's given, she is now become an oppressor as well. Right? Who does she oppress? She oppress her man, her husband. She oppress her children. Right? And it says it keeps people believing that the oppressive society is the way things are supposed to be. And that's what's wrong with you, Jakes. Right? Which is um, like the uh, like the article says, conformity. Conforming to the to the status quo of the way society is. Right, let me get a, another quick article on that. Salakia. It says this this article is um, gender differences. Um, and I'll put the link of this one in the in the bio as well. Conformity. Do women conform more than men? Studies have studies over the years have shown a higher rate of conformity among women than men. Psychologists have attributed this difference difference to many areas such as personality traits, differing views of conformity, social status, and situational forces. The following research and studies illustrates the fun illustrates the findings which conform which confirm the hypothesis and what is the hypothesis do women conform more than men so it confirms that women do conform more than men it says um, personality traits of men versus women according to Egley Wood and Fishbach 1981, women are more concerned than men about quality of interpersonal relationships, right? So relationships that don't have nothing to do with them, right? These women are worried about what society has to say instead of worrying about what's going on in their homes, right? Worrying about taking care of your child, but you're off, you're off being nurses taking care of them taking care of other people's childs or taking care of other people's homes. You go home and you're not taking care of your home. You're worried about, you're going to work worried about your boss, but you're not worried about your real, your real boss, which is your man, right? Women are more concerned than men about the quality of interpersonal relationships. Women take greater responsibility for establishing and maintaining interpersonal bonds whereas men do not, right? Um, going back, hold on one second. It says women are more concerned than men. Women are more concerned than men about the quality of interpersonal relationships. Women take greater responsibility for establishing and maintaining interpersonal bonds, um, whereas men do not, right? Also, women are more empathetic. That's a big thing. Empathetic, right? With, that's why this truth women women um women really really women uh don't get this um don't get this truth because what we bring is is basically what we're bringing out is basically um opposite of what society pushes Right, a woman. The only thing a woman wants to get is the common ground, right? That's why she wants to be empathetic. She's very empathetic, right? In her mind, there must be a common ground, right? We call the white man the devil. The only thing in her mind is that well, black men are the devil too. She doesn't understand the reasoning behind it, and she doesn't want to. She just wants to understand the side of the bad. She wants to side with the side of the bad, which is the man who who's raped and robbed her <laughs> for everything, not just her body, 
also her mind and her her resources and her and her, and her culture right but she wants to defend this man <laughs> so bugged out our people are right um women are more empathetic and more acute at decoding non-verbal communication than males male gender roles also claim that men should remain independent and not agree closely with others while it is seen as acceptable for women to conform to group behaviors and that's 1 percent true because when you check out the woman species that's what they do they can they um whatever the world is doing that's what women want to do they want to go along with trends women are more concerned with trends men are more concerned with making the trend and or going their own way if there's a trend men don't really like to go that way unless they have that feminine spirit on them right um was that here? Yeah, it says mental health oppression affects everyone in our society. It affects us whether or not we have had direct involvement with the mental health system. Mental health oppression obscures and denies how much oppression hurts all humans and instead blames individuals rather than the oppressive society for people's struggles, right? The elites and um, and also yourself as well. And that's why the society doesn't like us because we're calling out the, 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 the people who are actually doing all these, these things. Mental health oppression works with the other oppressions to keep people inside their oppressed and oppressor roles. It keeps people believing that the oppressive society is the way things are supposed to be in this way. Mental health oppression impedes all liberation movements. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's why you people think we're nuts. <laughs> Because the society says that we are. Mental health oppression makes people afraid of feelings and afraid of losing their minds. Extended deep or profuse discharge is misconstru misconstrued as mental illness. Oppressive phrases such as crazy or having a screw loose discredit people's mind. Right? Let me go right down uh, to the bottom. There's a couple... Uh, Couple uh, points, but like I said, this is something that brothers are gonna have to go through themselves. Uh, this lesson I'm definitely not gonna make long. This lesson is uh, something that I'm gonna have to probably make in different parts since I've touched on mental health before. Um, there's just a couple things that they highlight. So, un undischarged distress, distress that remains evaluated and makes it difficult for a person to think clearly unacceptable be unacceptable behavior behaviors that are re-stimulated to people who place a high value on normality certain behaviors so flagrantly go against what is considered acceptable that they are often diagnosed as mental illness right so that's what this society does anything that's unacceptable behavior to this society is mental illness now that's how simple it is for people to say that you're crazy anything that's unacceptable behavior to this society think outside the box a colloquial phrase that refers to thinking in an unconventional way the box being the confines of conformity and that's how they they look at the brothers in this truth stuck in a distress recording having the recording playing in one's mind in such a way that one cannot tell the difference between the recording and reality and that's where most people are stuck stuck in a distress recording mainly women but men as well you're stuck in in that recording you're, the recording of who the recording of your mother the 
the recording of your grand your grandmother right the, re the recording of the abuse that you've been through sexual assaults right uh, this one is step out of line keep people in line colloquial phrase that refers to people being expected to conform to step out of line is to behave differently than is expected by society keep people in line refers to what oppression especially mental health oppression is doing to make people conform right and that's why people are always trying to make brothers in the truth conform. Your family, your woman, because they know that you're doing what? You're stepping out of line. You're calling out. You're calling out the elites. You're stepping out of line, right? Safety net, a colloquial expression that refers to practice of spreading a net underneath someone who is doing something dangerous such as walking a high wire in order to catch them if they fall a social welfare safety net would for example provide economic help in case of emergency right so safety net this is what you women need right because like it says underneath someone who's doing something dangerous so the way women are living today women's liberation and all of that is all dangerous but what? There's safety nets underneath them. There's all safety. 911 is a safety net underneath these women. The welfare system is a safety net under these women. Right? Um, there's another one that I wanted. Uh, give me a second. Abnormal as defined by mental health oppression is not fitting in to what is called normal it says see below acceptable in our society every society has unwritten and written rules of behavior defined by the oppressors the oppressor patterns that dominate that society being accepted by the mainstream of the society requires conforming to these rules homosexuality the society is moving forward in a way of homosexuality and if you don't conform to these things you are stepping out of line right and there's so much more in this article this article is really really good it's a really really good article man but i'm gonna end it there and um i uh i i think brothers should check it out i i really like uh,